Welcome to Take 5, another five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. You know, as we live through this whole coronavirus crisis, this pandemic, and we know now that uh, the lockdown is going to extend much longer. The 5th of May, I understand, is the date that we're looking towards now, and who knows beyond that. But even while we go through all this, there's been movies, there's been TV series about similar situations and pandemics and stuff like that, except they all followed a similar pattern. They were all about society broke down and people began attacking each other and acted, turned like little savages and everything else. Well, it turned out they got it wrong. What's really happening is people are sending jokes to one another over the internet. I have never seen so many jokes and funny stories and, and funny pictures uh, sent around online. I know that the, there's always some of these going around, but never to the degree that they are now. The fact of the matter is that when we're in a tough situation, laughter is often a way to bring us out of it. You know, in, uh, in the book of Genesis, chapter 21, uh, in verse 5, it says, Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. And Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who hears about this will, will laugh with me. And she added, who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children, yet I have borne him a son in his old age. So here's an amazing, miraculous event and something that is actually vitally important to them. You know, the older a Abraham got, the more he realized that he didn't want to pass on his inheritance and his calling from God to his, man, to his servant. He didn't want to pass it on to the son of his concubine, uh, Ishmael. He wanted to pass it on to a son born through his wife, Sarah, even though that seemed impossible. And when it happened, what was their response? It was laughter. Jesus said, my joy I give to you. Now, when Jesus said that, you know what? Uh, th there were people who would look at that and say, oh no, Jesus was miserable. You know, the, you see these pictures that artists have drawn of Jesus and he's always looking like he's about to burst into tears. But actually, Jesus was joyful. Jesus was the life and soul of the party. That's why he got invited to all the best parties. The, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees accused him of, of always hanging out with the drunkards. And the, why? Because he got invited to all the best parties. And uh, he said, my joy, I give unto to you. Well, you wouldn't say that unless you were joyful. If, I mean, imagine if a miserable person said, my joy, I give to you. That would mean nothing. The only way that saying could have any meaning was for Jesus himself to be a joyful person. And some of the things that he said, I mean, they were, they were funny. When he said, like, you take a glass of water and you strain out a gnat and then you swallow a camel. Or he said, you try and take out uh, the moat out of somebody else's eye, the, the speck, but you ignore the tree, the log that is in your own eye. We maybe miss the humor of it because of our culture has become so different from that of first century Israel. But actually, those would have been tremendously funny. They were jokes that Jesus shared because Jesus was a person of laughter. He was a person of fun. Even though his reason for coming to earth was to die on the cross in, in agony and pain, nevertheless, he was a person of joy and a laugh, laughter. He was a man of sorrows, but he was also a man of joy because he summed up all of the best of human humanity and divinity united in one. And that includes the best of our emotions. And one of our emotions, of course, is that sense of humor, a sense of humor that God gave to us. It wasn't the devil that created a sense of humor. It was God who gave us a sense of humor. And I want to encourage you this day. You might feel like you've been in lockdown for a long time. You might be feeling discouraged. You might be feeling like getting ratty and snapping at the people round about you. You're maybe sick of the sight of the same people you're seeing every, every day. Or maybe you're on your own and you're really feeling just you wish you were, were seeing some other people. I want to encourage you today. Have a good laugh. Find a reason to have a laugh. 
look for the humor in the situation. You know, God, God can bless you. He can bless you in prayer. He can bless you in his word, and he can bless you in your laughter as well. So laugh out loud for God today. And join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.